It is well established that smells ring bells. Our sense of smell can be a powerful trigger for both memory and emotion. Neurology has helped us to understand the mechanism. The olfactory bulb which processes smell begins in our nose and continues into the brain, touching on the amygdala which triggers powerful emotions and on the hippocampus which governs our memories. Psychiatrists have demonstrated that actually smelling a rose summons a far more powerful response than merely hearing the word rose or lily. The Song of Songs is filled with descriptions of fragrant spices and flowers, especially the Shoshana, which is often translated as a lily. The lovers describe each other as perfumed and seductive. For example, in chapter 5, verse 13, we read, L'chayav ka'arugat ha'bosem, migdalot merkachim, siftotav shoshanim, notfot mor over. His cheeks are like beds of spices, banks of perfume. His lips are like lilies. Our ancient sages read the Song of Songs as an allegory of the love between God and Israel, and they associated this verse with the most romantic moment of all, with the revelation at Sinai. In the Talmud, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi says that with every word uttered by God at Sinai, the entire world was filled with fragrance, called Dibur v'dibur sh'yatsam v'pi ha'kadosh baruch hu, nitmale kol ha'ulam kulo b'samim. The Hasidic author, Svat Emet, claimed that the world was not ready to receive the Torah until Israel was emancipated from slavery in Egypt and came to stand at the foot of Sinai. But at that moment, when Israel received Torah from God, the entire world was filled with fragrance so that all people, indeed all creatures, got to enjoy the fragrance of Torah. I like this image of Torah as a perfume that spreads around the world. You can think of the act of studying Torah as being like baking cookies or perhaps a pie. As the sugars caramelize, the fragrance emanates from the kitchen. Everyone who can smell those cookies baking is reminded of beautiful moments, delicious moments in their lives and is filled with joy. So may the fragrance of Torah give us joy on Shavuot and may that joy spread from our studies until it embraces all with the beautiful fragrance of Torah.